He has composed music for some of the most popular shows on TV, including the hit Netflix show, House of Cards. And this week, Jeff Beal is here in Rochester sharing what he's learned with students at the Eastman School of Music. Norma Holland is with him this morning, and he's sitting right by the piano. How cool is he, Norma? He's really uh, uh, so down to earth for a man who has been, uh, he's won awards, he's been nominated for Emmys. Uh, you know, he's, he's a guy who's pretty accomplished, you know, but he comes back to Rochester. He's a graduate of the Eastman School of Music, and he, yes, he composed that haunting, beautiful uh, intro song to House of Cards that fans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Jeff is with us today. We're talking about uh, you being in Rochester. You're meeting with students. You're talking to them about the profession, right? Uh, that there is a career to be had in composing, right? There is. In fact, it was listed in, as one of the fastest growing careers just in some study last year, and I was really shocked. But you'd, when you think about all the music being created, not only for film and TV, but for video games and the internet and everywhere, yeah. you know, there's probably never been more content created for media. So. On the creative side, I'm, I'm, we're encouraging the composers, and on the performance side, I'm, I'm also really fun to get so many students, we've probably got about 80 students, performing this music, because, you know, whether or not you're in Hollywood, even if you're in a symphony orchestra, symphony orchestras all around the country are started really embracing film music as part of their literature, and it's really fun for me to see that happening. You know, it's, it's, it's music that we, that we relate to because it's, it's, it's from our time, mm -hmm. and to go into a symphony hall and hear something that that, that we can immediately sort of recognize or relate to is a way into to, to enjoying something, you know. Well, there's no doubt that the music in uh, House of Cards is distinctive. It is, when you hear it, you know, all I can imagine is Frank Underwood sitting at a table plotting. <laughs> that evil uh, guy, that yeah. That evil guy, He's whom you met, man. who you met, right, yeah. uh, along yeah. with, uh, with uh, Claire Underwood, Robin, uh, Robin Wright Penn. So the song itself, uh, you'll be performing uh, as part of a, a number of selections this weekend at, um, at Kodak Hall at 8 o'clock on Sunday, right? Yeah, it's really fun because, you know, this, this theater over here, which used to be Eastman Theater, we're sort of bringing it back to its roots in the sense that we're going to be projecting footage for pretty much all, pretty much everything that will be presented at the concert will be to film. So That's it's wonderful. it's really going to be, it's really, I don't know if, if you've ever had this experience, but to see a movie and have a whole 80-piece yeah. live orchestra playing, it's really a thrilling uh, experience, so I'm really happy. Yeah. yeah, and it's free, okay? Did I mention that? It's yeah. free, okay? Yeah. It's a free concert, and you get to hear the likes of Jeff Beal. Uh, Jeff and his wife perform, uh, met here at Eastman many years ago, and uh, and his son performs on the House of Cards themes a song as well. His wife sings uh, the, sort of those eerie sounds, those eerie interludes in the show. Uh, Jeff, I want you to play a little bit for us. Okay. Okay, is that okay? I would love to, and you know, it's funny. Uh, one of my favorite relationships in the show is the Frank and Claire show. Yeah. And relationship, I mean. And there's a theme that I wrote uh, that sort of became their love theme. And you can imagine what their love theme would sound like. It's a little dark, it's sort of yeah. twisted, you know. So I wrote this little, little waltz okay. for them. very first pilot remember when he comes back to the apartment it kind of has to tell her they didn't get that job yeah and he stays up all night smoking a cigarette yeah and it's really cool because it's almost film noirish and it's got this really sort of um, moody it's got this mood to it you yeah. know and it just it just felt like it's something that worked for them and it's that's one of my favorite things to score in the show when I'm writing the scores those really sort of cool moments those Frank and Claire sitting at the window smoking a cigarette <laughs> they're secret Flying, cigarettes they're supposed know. to not they're not supposed yeah, to smoke you know, but they do it anyway yeah, yeah well it's, you know it's a as a dramatist I mean as a film composer you're really a dramatist so I'm just fascinated by the little twists and turns and and it's funny I felt this way about a lot of things you know villains are okay. always villains are really fun to well, score. Frank is my favorite in uh, my favorite villain and yeah. again don't miss it. Jeff Beal this Sunday at Kodak Hall. It's a free concert and Jeff why don't you play a little of that haunting intro. I love it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> 